graphics and fashion can can go together. It was just there at the moment. I think I was trying to match whatever was going on in the fashion and what was going on in uh, you know in life at the moment. I think our job as graphic designers is to uh, convey and to translate whatever you've seen on the runway in a certain way. You have to follow whatever the feeling is of that season. You have to translate that into graphics. It was the beginning a little bit of what they've called um, the minimal approach to things and the use of very, let's say, graphic type of uh, styling and um, designing. So uh, I think we were we were there with it. I think, and this is what you know, like a lot of like about the feminine feminine side also uh, that was you know early '90s uh, was quite present. Some of the use of the the type, the size of the type, were very yeah young, was expressing very much what what was going on. You know, like it was the grunge movement, quite young. The photography that we used at Bazaar was quite in that direction between the pictures and the type was giving um, a, a luxury back to um, that movement. There was a contrast between the imagery and the graphics, but at the same time, the two types of, of uh, imagery was mixing it, each other quite well. Uh, and it was quite new and fresh and quite dynamic. Um, and it still was very fashionable, you know, so I think it was quite attractive. I think before that, I think graphics has, was not used uh, in such an extreme way to convey ideas and to convey ideas about colors, to convey ideas about shape, about, you know, like boldness of the clothes. We use bold type, you know, make it really big when the clothes were like, you know, like more like small and minimal and very black and and simple we would go like we, the type would be like very 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 subtle and small and you know it was quite matching I was always matching what was going on as a team then at bazaar what what was important to every one of us is to do um, trying to do the best magazine possible at the time and uh, everybody in the team was really into that, you know, Lise, Paul Cavaco, Tony Goodman, everybody was, you know, doing the best. That was quite a very interesting moment and we lived through that moment and it's strange because now, only now I think people realize by looking back how important it was then. But as we lived it at the moment, nobody paid attention. We're just going, 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 and try to do better every time. And like, you know, like make it better next one. Let, let's make it better, let's make it better. And that was really like challenging, um, you know, our, you know, artistic side like, as much as possible. Interestingly enough, there was never really a formula to it. It was a philosophy to it and a way of doing things in a certain, with a certain like a philosophical way of looking at things. But it was never a formula in a way like say, we use that type, we do this like that, this is this size. It was never a formula. And I think it kept the organic side of it was what make, made it like alive, I think. It was quite organic at the end of the game.